Before servicing the robot, don't forget to disconnect the AC power and turn off the DC power as well. It is very important to follow ESD procedure provided in the user kit is an ESD wrist strap. You need to make sure that you put the wrist strap on and there is a jack provided on the side of the robot where you can plug in to ground yourself. We're going to remove the gripper from the arm. We're going to use, in this case, the two millimeter bit and the T-handle driver and remove this access plate. Next, we have to release the connector. To remove the connector with the needle nose, grabbing the end, gently squeeze the halves together and pull the connector out. Now that we have the uh, connector disconnected, using the four millimeter bit in the T-handle driver, we rotate the gripper around and remove the two mounting bolts. Be careful that the uh, washers do not fall down inside of the forearm. And the clamp will come off from the backside. By pulling forward and gently wiggling, you have to take the gripper and pull it slightly out of its retaining groove. Be careful that we don't damage the connector that we had just disconnected. Important safety tip, when removing the gripper, realize that the taking this weight off of the arm and letting it go, the arm will now fly up on its own. and You don't want to hit yourself in the head. The installation is pretty much the reversal of the removal. We feed the connector through the hole, making sure that the gripper fits into the groove and that the alignment tab fits into its slot. We have the gripper now installed in the slot. We slide the clamp in place, again using Loctite, making sure that the uh, washer is on the screw. Initially, you want to hand tighten this and make sure that the gap that you can see between the C-clamp and the gripper is approximately even from one side to the other. To tighten the gripper bolts, we need to preset the torque driver to 6.34 newton meters, which is as high as it'll go. Now that the gripper clamp bolts are tight, we need to install the connector. With the needle nose, push down gently on the top to make sure that it's fully latched in. The last step is to reinstall the door. The large torque driver needs to be reset to 1.36 newton meters using Loctite. And the grippers installed.